So, yep, you read the title. What we're going to be looking at today is something a little bit different. I'm not going to be spending a whole lot of time on it. Now, usually with this channel, I'll buy something, I'll do a review on it, just because it's open box, and then use it, and then kind of give you an update as I use it. Essentially, what this little sweet gem is, is it's the ASUS ROG Strix. And all it does is, is it allows you to take an old NVMe in multiple sizes. You could do 2280, 2260, 2242, and 2230. But it's essentially toolless. Finding a good portable SSD is extremely difficult. And then speeds are very all over the place. And I was like, I've been spending a lot of time on eBay because I absolutely love eBay. But I was like, let me get an NVMe, put that in here, and then I can have, I'm not limited to just like a Samsung, you know, eight terabyte or whatever, because portable hard drives, I use them a lot with a lot of video editing, especially from other channels. Check out the links in the description down below. But with that being said, let me just show you how this works. It's fairly simple. It's, it is toolless. It comes with this little tiny ASUS branded, we'll call them a foam plug jammer and a USB-C there. So you pop this up and then there's your heat pads. Right, and then there's your NVMe. Now, this is the largest NVMe that you can fit in there, and it is essentially toolless. What you do is you unscrew this little guy right here, okay, and as you unscrew that, that accesses the NVMe. I mean, it's it's there's not really a whole lot to explain with this, but uh, I'll just show you just for whatever reasons. And I found this NVMe, this is the eight terabyte WD Black. It's usually the most affordable one, but it came with a casing and I ripped the whole casing apart, used the heat gun on the bottom to remove the thermal pads. So this way I had access to it because you cannot put something that has a heat sink in this to actually work. Uh, it, it just won't close. I mean, you could leave it open, but I was like, okay, that's great. And what you do is you just kind of push that in like that, really simple, lock this groove in while you push it down, and then just screw it down. It, it's quite literal. You don't even need a screwdriver. Even though there is a flathead groove, no screwdriver needed. I'm going to show you how fast these speeds are because they're absolutely phenomenal. So there's your thermal pads on the actual device. I've got some breadcrumbs or chicken nuggets on there, uh, QR codes, and then you have these hooks. Put in that right side, and you slide it down. That's it. And it's kind of attractive because this only, I'm not a big fan of LEDs. This actually lights up and it does work with the ASUS sync program. So if you have your mouse, whatever, but this is subtle enough to where it doesn't bother me. And then it comes with this little tiny protector. This protector is nice because it allows you to use like a, their version of a carabiner on it. This guy, a little difficult to get through. Just kind of force through it. And then you can attach it to a backpack, fanny pack, whatever, rucksack belt loop, and then you have eight terabytes on the fly that if they ever make a 16 terabyte, I don't know if the firmware on here can support that. Uh, the largest I could find is an eight terabyte, but the good thing is because I got this WD Black on the cheap, oh my God, I think I paid $215 for it. Eight terabytes, you could always change that. So let me just show you some of the speeds. I had reformatted this. There is some stuff on the drive, but let's, uh, Let's give it a whirl and see the speeds we get. It's important to also note that when you do test the speed of this or you want the optimal speed to use the provided USB-C cable, I feel like I'm an advertisement, but I promise that this is accurate. So we will test it with a three gigabit file. And you see that we are roughly getting about 900 read and write speeds. And now we will compare that to the actual hard drive of the computer itself. Okay. Now you'll see looking at my Amazon that there are a lot of recommendations for NVMe just because I, I wanted an enclosure because I got a great deal on one. So I said, you know, go with something name brand. It was either go with Ugreen or Asus. And Asus, yeah, it's a lot of money, but you get what you pay for. The full transfer speed at 10 gigabits per second is going to be limited to the NVMe that's in there, the speed of the port. You might be throttled at the port of your computer or your Mac. I'm getting about 900 megs per second. So, and I think that the actual black is rated for much higher than that. So you can see here that the LED lighting is very subtle. It's sexy. And I've tested a lot of different NVMe enclosures, whether it was a micro or even other SSDs, HDDs, portable jams. And I can tell you that by far, this is the most expensive one and the most versatile, meaning that when I'm saying the most expensive, that 
it's going to be limited to how much storage you actually buy, whether it's a four or two or one. Obviously, that's going to be on the cheaper side, but it allows me to configure that for a larger drive or a different drive if it does break versus having to buy a whole nother enclosure. So it, it's just a really nice thing, and I would 100% recommend it. There'll be a link in the description down below to pick this up.